Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another production of Park TV 16 Sports. Tonight we are broadcasting from the home of Benilde St. Margaret's High School in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. And I'm Robert Christensen. I'll be bringing you the play-by-play -play for first the boys' match here starting at 5 p.m. and the girls' match at 7. Tonight the Red Knights are hosting the Chanhasm Storm, their Metro West rival from across town and coming into tonight's matches the respective records are the Chan has in storm is four and two and the Red Knights are two and three earlier this season the Chan has in storm has played Kennedy and Edina they beat Kennedy two to nothing and they lost to Edina three to two and as far as the Red Knights, they come into this rec uh, game tonight two and three. So we're about to begin. In terms of the starting lineups for Benilde St. Margaret's, we have number three, Cole Nickelbein, a captain. Number four, Thomas Forby, a defender. Will Dressen, number six. Number 10, Santi Lambert. Number 11, Sam Zimmerman. Number 12, Matthew Kusurik. Number 15, Kalen Woog. Number 17, Eli Lloyd. Number 19, Billy Panic. Number 21, James Norkoski. And in goal, Teddy Dayton. For the Chan has in Storm, we have Luke Reich, number one in goal for the Storm. Number five is Carter Cruz. Number six is Lawrence Kurth. Number 10 is Danny Brown as we are underway. Warm evening here in St. Louis Park. It's in the mid 80s and a lot of humidity. Much more like a July early evening, late afternoon as we begin underway here. And the ball goes down. That's number 15 chasing it. Kalen Woog in the corner. Being assisted by number 11, Sam Zimmerman. Playing with it right on the corner. They're right on the line there, and it goes out of bounds, and that will go to, they give it to Chan Has, and much to the chagrin of San Zimmerman, he disagreed with the call, it looked like momentarily, and the throw in, and it goes back out of bounds. Chan Has will throw it in again. Oh, here comes Benilde, that's number 17, Eli Lloyd with an opportunity pass and a shot on goal by number 19, Billy Panic. Beautiful shot and also a great save there by Luke Reich. Here's the replay. Boy, he got a lot of pace on it. It was bending a little bit and what a dive save by Luke Reich for the storm. Here comes Benil back on offense once again. There's an attempted pass there to Sam Zimmerman on the right side as he corrals the ball. Ball put on the goalie right. He takes it and he'll walk it out and run it up to number 10 for the Storm. That's Danny Brown, a junior midfielder. And Chan Hasm will try to cross midfield here for the first time this match. And slipping there is number 10, Danny Brown. And the ball goes out of bounds. So Benil takes possession. And Chan Hasm steals it right back. Number 11 has it right now. That's Calvin Allen, a senior midfielder. Nice pass there. Oh, to number nine. And he let it go by. Or number, let's see, who was that? Number six, Lawrence Kurth had a hard time handling it. Beautiful pass by the Storm there. Ball comes over to the near side. That's number 12, Matthew Kasurik, senior defender for the Red Knights. And he gets it ahead nicely to number 17, Eli Lloyd. And a shot on net goes, sails way over the net, attempted by San... Santi Lambert, senior midfielder captain for Dave Platt's Red Knight senior varsity boys basketball team. There was the first shot on goal earlier in the match. Worth seeing again just for that save by Reich. 
And so Reich will kick it off. Nice kick all the way to midfield. Possession up for grabs. And Chanhassen comes away with it. That's number five, Carter Cruz. Senior defender kicks it down. And Deddy Drayton, the Dayton, the goalie for Benil, will handle it and kick it off. He punts it downfield to about midfield. Tempted to be handed by Jack Anderson, junior midfielder, but he couldn't quite handle it. And Benil takes possession. And that's number 12, Matthew Kusurik. To number 10, Santi Lambert. Over to number 21. That is James Norkoski, a senior defender and co-captain, or a tri-captain. There's three captains on Benild's team. Cole Nickelbein, number three, and Santi Lambert, number 10, and James Norkoski, number 21. So here comes Benild, looking for another chance to score, and a beautiful shot there from way out. Number three, Cole Nickelbein, but again, another nice save by Luke Reich, two shots on goal for Benil, none for the Storm early on here in the first half. Nice intercepted attempt, interception attempt there by 21, Narkoski. Both number fours for both teams down there chasing it. Zach Swisher for the Storm uh, with Thomas Forby, the defender, junior for the Red Knights, and the ball goes out of bounds to the Red Knights. That is number 21 with the ball. James Narkoski, he'll kick it off. And it goes out of bounds off the storm, so Benild will throw it in. Trying to get it to Eli Lloyd there, number 17, just a ninth grader for the Red Knights. And there's number 17, Jake Mohabe. Mohabe Dabi. Moha, Mahabadi, number 17. And there's a nice save by Teddy Dayton. Just a sophomore goalkeeper for the Red Knights and he will kick it downfield here most likely with either a kick or he'll punt it. And nice punt all the way down to about the 45 for the Storm. And number 11 gets it for the Storm, that's Calvin Allen. And quickly thwarted by number four for the Red Knights, Thomas Forby, junior defender. It's Will Dreesen, number six, taps on it, trying to get it over to Norkoski, and it goes out of bounds, this time in favor of the Storm. They'll have a throw in. That's number 10 who will do the honors, Danny Brown, junior midfielder. I was noting in the prior two games, Benild has not scored a goal in a regular season match since August 31st. The last two matches they were in, they got skunked. So they are looking to get a goal here most desperately. They've had two nice shots on goal, both nice saved nicely by Luke Reich for the Storm. Santi Lambert, number 10, with the fancy footwork, still has it. And now it's over to Nickelbein. And he tries to get it ahead to Kalen Woog. And Benild still retains possession. There's a whistle, so there'll be a free kick. Coming up to do the honors is number three, Cole Nickelbein. So Benil will set up downfield, and there's the big kick, and it goes right to Reich, the goalie, and he easily handles it and will start the storm off to see if they can get down and get their first shot on goal here. That goes out of bounds. That'll go towards Benild. Number 12, Matthew Kasurik throws it in. Attempting to play the ball is Will Dreesen, number six. Storm take over. Nice footwork, and number 10 goes down hard. Danny Brown, I don't know if he's hurt. He's slow getting up. But the whistle was made by the referee, so there's a free kick by Chan Hazen, and, Dre and he quickly gets it off. Danny Brown does. 
And there is a pass intended for number four, Zach Swisher, almost connects. Very dangerous opportunity. There's the nice replay. Look at that pass, just couldn't quite handle it. He gets his foot on that, and that very likely would have been a goal for the Storm. Nice pass there. Still not a shot on goal for the Storm, however. Another, some practice games going on around the main field here. So sometimes I hear a whistle. Here's a great opportunity for Benild, and he puts it in there. Number 15, Kalen Woog, the senior forward. Finally gets a goal for Benild, and they draw first blood at one nothing. Nice lead pass, and Reich, the goalie, comes out and takes a big risk, and it goes off his own defender, and he is left with nothing else he could do, and Woog puts in a nice curved shot there. That man, senior Kalen Woog, one nothing Red Knights, and we're back underway. Storm have possession on the kickoff. Centering pass there to number 15 for the Storm. That's Jack Anderson. And it goes out of bounds, and Benil will take possession, and they quickly get it in towards number 11. That's Sam Zimmerman, and another whistle. Not sure what that was for, and uh, the referee indicates. Thought he said the clock should keep running when he wound his arm up there, but nevertheless, Benil, number 12, will throw it in. That's Matthew Kasurik, and he gets it to Lambert. Over to Norkoski, who gets it back over to Nickelbein, who attempts to pass it to Kasurik again, and it goes out of bounds. This time the Storm have it. That's number 11, Calvin Allen. Tries to center a pass in there, and Dayton comes out and makes a nice complicated save there. Both his own defender and an attacker for the Storm. Number six, Lawrence Kurth there. He had to dodge their legs and cleats, but was able to keep his eye on the ball, and he comes up with it, and now Benild has it. Again, that's number 11, Sam Zimmerman. Gets it to Narkoski. Nickel Bine, nice, oh, almost got that ball through to Woog, and he would have been off to the races. Almost, nice pass there by Nickel Bine. Just didn't quite connect. Eli Lloyd fighting hard and down hard goes number 10, Santi Lambert. Momentary time here while number 10 for Chan has and ties his shoe, Danny Brown. He is looking very tired and that ball sails all the way down over the goal line and it'll be storm possession. Here's that kick by Nickelbein, and the header just goes wide left there. Nice job there by Nurkoski. It's a long pass there from Nickelbein. So early on here, Benild has all the offense, very little offense on behalf of the Storm. So good start for the Red Knights. Up one nothing early on Kalen Woog's goal. Nickelbein heads it. There's Lambert, number 10. Storm takeover. It's number 11, Calvin Allen for the Storm. Over on the far right side. And that shot is handled by Dayton, the goaltender, no problem. And Benil will bring their offense back down the field. Big Punt there and quick whistle. And a infraction against the Red Knights, so the storm started off. Kick towards Dayton, he handles it no problem. That was by number 17, Jake Mahabadi on the right side there.
Lambert fighting for possession, and he comes away with it momentarily, gets it over to his teammate, Will Dreesen, and now he's got a little space to work with. He tries to get it up to Lloyd, just leads him a little too far. So Luke Reich, the goalie for the Storm, will punt it away. And there's another whistle. And they'll bring the ball back to the goalie. Not sure what the delay is. Looks like there's an equipment issue there with, I think that's number 17, Eli Lloyd, the ninth grader midfielder. Looks like he's got a nod in his shoe. That's exactly what he has. Looks like he's got it un unknotted and he looks like he's tying it now. Very complicated shoe he's got there. It's taking a while. And the ref wasn't gonna wait for him. He started it off. And there's Eli Lloyd trying to get the ball back from number 18, Matt Reich, a senior defender. Must be a twin of Luke Reich or an Irish twin. They're both seniors with the same last name or a cousin. Number 13 for Benil, Christopher Welsher, now in the match, senior. And he'll throw it in to Lloyd. Nice move there by Lloyd on the corner there. He's got some quick feet, that is for sure. And there's Nickelbein with a tempted shot. Goes wide right and out of bounds, so the storm will take over. If you're just joining us, one nothing. we're about midway through the first half, 26 minutes and change to go here in the first half. And that is Luke Reich, who will kick the ball off for the Storm. They've had no shots on goal. And Benilda's had two shots on goal, one went in. Or I say they had three shots on goal, two and one went in. So one nothing Benilda, and here come the Storm once again. Number 15 there, Jack Anderson. And it is intercepted there by number 11, Christopher Welsher, senior midfielder and forward, and it goes out of bounds. And number 25, James Reed, senior defender, will throw it in for the Storm. And we have a substitution. It is a very, very warm afternoon, very humid day here for approaching mid-September. So dehydration is gonna be an issue. Cramping is gonna be an issue, perhaps. And there's the throw in, and it goes over the head of number four, Zach Swisher for the Storm, and Benil takes possession, at least momentarily. And the Storm now have it. That's number 16, Cameron Vagassi. Just in the match, actually. And there he is with the ball again, or he attempts, that's a junior midfielder, Cameron Vesegi. Another whistle, a lot of whistles here in this match early on. Looks like it's gonna be a free kick here for the Storm. It's number 17 lining it up, Jake Mahabadi. And Benild will form a wall 10 yards back, 10 meters back. And this is a great opportunity here for the Storm to try to get on the board. Bahambadi takes a shot and saved there by Teddy Dayton. Nice job by him. So still no score for the Storm. one nothing Benil. 24 and a half minutes, there's the replay. A lot of pace on that ball. Nice save there, getting his body in front of it, not just using his arms there by young Mr. Dayton. And here come the Storm once again. That is Jake Mahabadi again. He looks like one of their better players. Keep an eye on him. He looks dangerous if you're a Benilde fan. Ball goes out of bounds to the Storm. James Reed will throw it in, number 25. Attempting to get it there to number four. That's Zach Swisher again. And Benilde kicks it down, blocked by the Storm. 
Number 15, Jack Anderson trying to get it over to There's a pass to number six, I believe, Corrance Kurth. Right there, nice pass there by Mahabadi. And he gets it to him, and he may have gotten pushed by Nickelbein, but no call on that. Boy, that was a clear push. Looks like Benilde may have gotten away with one, and so Nickelbein will kick it off instead of Teddy Dayton. And he gets it nicely down to about midfield. And the Storm take over possession. It's number five chasing it, Carter Cruz, senior defender for the Storm. He kicks it down. Tempted for Kurth, and now he has some room and the ball. And some and he passes in front, and nice diving save there by Teddy Dayton. He's playing a, having a nice early afternoon here for the Red Knights. As he throws it out. He's been busy of late. Ball comes down, and Eli Lloyd almost beat Reich, the goaltender, to that, and that would have been trouble for the Storm, but Reich got there just in the nick of time to thwart that scoring opportunity for the Red Knights. And here comes another one, a lead pass, not, oh, no offsides call. Sam Zimmerman with it, and it goes out of bounds to the Storm. Look at that nice lead pass, and he just, well, he was being defended well there by number 25, James Reed. But nice pass there, nice vision, getting that ball all the way downfield. Let him just perfectly, but James Reed was there to stop it. Nice defense by the Storm. Benilde has the possession and they just give it up. It's number six, Will Dreesen with it. Gets it over to number four, Thomas Forby, junior defender. Dreesen with it. And it goes out of bounds. Dreesen could, or no, that Forby couldn't quite handle it. So the Storm, I think, will get a throw in, and they will. Oh, and there's a nice lead pass by Lloyd. Calls for offsides from the crowd, and I, they may have called offsides there. The ball has to get in front of the defender. Soccer, you can't run down there and wait for a bomb. The ball has to get in front of you, and then you gotta chase it. Otherwise, it's offsides. It's sort of a moving imaginary line depending on how the ball is being played and where the players are positioned. There is number 17, Mahabadi takes another shot. This goes wide left of the goal. And I think it'll be possession to the Red Knights here as we approach 20 minutes to go in the half. Or is it gonna be a corner kick? Looks like we might be setting up a corner kick over in the far right side there. Yeah, that looks like it's what it's gonna be. The first corner kick of the match, and that'll be Jake Mahabadi kicking it. So a excellent scoring opportunity here for the Storm to try to tie this match up at the 20 minute mark. And it comes in and Nickelbein blocks it, but it comes back to Mahabadi. And the ball goes across the goal line. And so that'll mean possession for the Red Knights. So they thwart that first corner kick opportunity by the Storm. Nice job by the Red Knights. Mahabadi didn't, wasn't able to really do a lot with that kick. He kind of kicked it right at Nickelbein there, number three, who you can see is about to kick it off here. I don't know if Dayton is a little bit tired. He's been seeing a lot of action for most of this half, at least the last 10, 15 minutes. And he does look like he might be struggling just a tad. So I think Nickelbein will kick it off. Attempted there for number 13, that's Christopher Welsher, senior forward midfielder, now in the match. It's Welsher again with it. Lawrence Kurth, number six, look for him. He looks like a dangerous player for the Storm. Quick feed out there. 
And now Benil looks like they have possession. Number five attempted to pass it. That's Nick Figueroa, sophomore forward now in the match. And now comes away with it is Nick Figueroa. And he gets it ahead to Welsher. And oh, number eight, Harrison Shibley, now also in the match for the Red Knights. So lots of substitution for the Red Knights. Not a bad strategy. His shot here, he had a little bit of a chance. And Reich out of position again. That cost him the first goal, and he was—he has a tendency to stray. Goalies will do that in hockey and in soccer, and that can get him in lots of trouble. It really did cost the Storm their first goal. So Reich will kick it off. Big, strong leg by that kid. Nice effort there by number eight, Harrison Shibley trying to keep the ball in bounds. But it's a turnover to the Storm. Just below 18 minutes to go here in the first half. Beautiful afternoon here in St. Louis Park. There's Lawrence Kurth, six chasing it, and it is handled by number 21, James Nurkoski. And it goes out of bounds, so it'll be another kickoff. And again, number three, Cole Nickelbein will handle it rather than Teddy Dayton. So he boots it down there, intended for Welsher, goes over his head. And number five handled it there, Carter Cruz for the storm. And they will get it all the way back to Reich, who quickly boots it into midfield. He saw three open Storm teammates. Nice job there by Reich, getting the ball up quickly. There's Welsher. And the Storm come away with it. And a lead pass there, attempted for number 38. That's CJ Claggett, just a freshman attacker. And he'll, let's see. Who got possession? Yep, it was the Storm, and rather than Claggart throwing it out, it'll be Carter Cruz comes down to throw it in. So another opportunity, boy, ever since the beginning of the match, the Storm have seemed to dominate possession on the offensive end of the field, but they have not any goals to show for it. Benilde showing they're a very good counter puncher. Just like this. Look at that nice lead pass and just misses the boat. But I like the way Vanille is thinking. They really have their midfielders keeping their heads up and looking for those passes and those angles. And this time it was intended for number five, Nick Figueroa, the sophomore forward. And just missed. Good defense there by the Storm. Vanille will retain possession. Throw in quickly there. Number eight, Harrison Shibley with it. Now it's Santi Lambert. He's got it, and he puts it in net. I don't know what Reich was thinking there, but nice individual effort there by Santi Lambert as he gets Benilde's second goal of the evening. Here's the replay, and he just slips right by these guys, and he saw it. I don't know where Reich was, way over by the right post. And Santi is a very happy young man there. Nice job by him wrestling the ball away and then keeping his head up. That is the thing. Look at that nice footwork there. And he just blows by three storm. And then he kept his head up and he saw the opening and he didn't try to overkick it and just guided it right into the net. Nice job there by Santi Lambert showing his experience as a senior and a 2-0 lead for Benilde. Nice start for them after having not scored a goal in both of their last two matches. So here come the Storm. They don't want to give up another goal if they want to stay in this match. They have a four and two record, so they've been doing well. But this is a conference match and down goes CJ Claggett. And there's a whistle and there'll be a free kick here for the Storm. So they're gonna get an opportunity here to get on the board at the 1440 mark. Number 11. Sam Zimmerman will do the honors. Benilde will set up a four-person wall, 10 yards between 
And there's the shot, and it goes wide right of Teddy Dayton. Got to put the ball on net if you're going to score. Calvin Allen boots it just wide. So now Teddy Dayton, he will do the kickoff honors this time. Those big red gloves there. And he kicks it over to the left side there, looking for Welsher. And it ricochets off his head, and now the Storm have a bit of an opportunity with Claggett on the right side. Just a freshman, nice footwork by that kid, although he is getting pushed around there by Benilds, number 20, Gabe Bauer, a senior defender now in the match for the Red Knights. We'll try to keep track of the substitutions. There will be a lot of them just due to the weather tonight. Oh, and that ball gets deflected in front of net. Teddy Dayton. If we can see his effort, he went from one side to the other, back to the other. He loses his footing, comes over, ball goes back, and he gets way over there to make the save. What an effort there by Teddy Dayton, having an excellent first half for the Red Knights. Excellent hustle there, great anticipation, good instincts. Ball comes out of bounds here into the stands. Storm will have possession. That's number 25, James Reed. Throws it in. And Benilde will take over possession. And they were going to maybe give it to Teddy Dayton, the goalie, but they don't. Instead, it's coming up to number two. That's Ronan Brew, a senior defender, also now new into the match. Lots of substitutions. And Teddy Dayton will take it, and he will kick it off. Or he'll either kick it or punt it. And he will punt it, and he gets a nice punt away over midfield. Attempted there for number eight, Harrison Shibley. And that is Santi Lambert. He puts a nice lead pass to number two, Roman Brew. And that ball goes just wide left of the Storm goal. And they will take over possession. And we are just getting to the 12-minute mark left in the first half. Reich will kick it off. It appears that the Red Knights are substituting a lot more than the Storm, but the Storm just substituted two players in. And there's a collision there between number 16, Cameron Vagasi, Vasagi, for the Storm. And Santi Lambert, number 10, gets it back to Teddy Dayton, who had, fumbles with it briefly. Oh, and... Kurth was there for the storm. Lawrence Kurth almost had a golden opportunity, a gift, one might say, but Teddy Dayton does scramble to recover. I have to think that the heat and the humidity is having an impact on these players tonight. It is very warm and very humid tonight. Especially for this time of year here, mid-September. And here come the storm in the box, trying to get something going and the Storm player goes down, a whistle ensues. And there's some discussion going on. The referee explaining something to. I think that's number 21 he was talking to, Narkoski. Yes, it was. He kind of had his hands all like, what do you want me to do? And we're going to have a penalty kick here. And the guy that's going to get it is Jake Mahabadi. So this is a huge huge event here penalty kicks are rare during regulation and he does easily put it in for the storm's first goal so there was a violation there by narkoski and look at that he just not he looked it looked like he was going to go left he faked the goalie left and he just easily put it to the right nice goal there by that guy right there jake mahabadi the senior midfielder gets the storm on the board at the 10 19 mark for some reason, the clock has stopped, which is very rare in soccer. There is, let's see what the violation was. Oh, he did kind of kick his left ankle back there, didn't he? That might have been the call. It looked like that might have been a little unnecessary. So that cost the Red Knights. And they will try to answer back here right away. That is number 19 with the ball, Billy Panic. 
Over to Welsher, chasing it on the left, far left side. Puts a nice move on there. And it's taken away there nicely by Carter Cruz for the storm. Wow, nice job by that kid. Larkowski stops it. There's Santi Lambert and the Storm come away with it. And they might have some numbers here. That's Abdabadi again. Number 17 who got the goal. That's Kurth chasing it. Kind of out of position. But they are feeling the momentum here. And Narkoski takes it away. He is a big kid. Tough to push around. Number five now chasing it. Nick Figueroa. Centering pass there by Roman Brew, and it ends up in the hands of the goaltender, Luke Reich. Approaching the nine minute mark, here's a nice centering pass there, and it just goes awry there for the Red Knights, and a big high kick there by Reich. There's Lambert now with it, and he does another forwarding pass, and he leads them just a little bit too far, intended for Nick Figueroa. And another whistle. So I would say Benilde is drawing most of the whistles. They'd like to play a little rough, which isn't bad. But they are getting whistled on quite a few roughing calls. So now this will be another opportunity for Jake Mahabadi. Number 17 just got on the board here. Eight and a half minutes to go first half and he'll have a free kick. And he leads it in there, and Teddy Dayton comes up nicely and makes the save. Dayton kicks it down. Headed there by number 24, Christian Lang, just a freshman defender. And that is number 18, Matt Reich with it, senior defender for the Storm. There's Abadadi. And there is Kurth, number six. Oh, and he tried to get it over, and it was deflected there nicely by Benilde Santi Lambert. But here come the storm once again. That's Kurth. Look out for him. He's very quick, and he, oh, nice quick shot, and another great save by Teddy Dayton. Draws a big round of applause from the home crowd. Watch how quick this kid is. Stops on a dime, turns, and fires on net. He is a dangerous player, him along with Maha body for the storm. They seem to have possessed the ball here for most of the first half, maybe not the first 10 minutes or so, but ever since then, they have seemed to keep the possession and the pressure on the defense for Benilde. So now we're gonna have four new players in for Benilde. Number seven coming in is Sam Charles, senior. Number 15 re-enters, Kalen Wu, who got the first goal of the match. Also now back in is Will Dreesen, number six. So again, 80 something degrees here. 70 to 80% humidity, really hot, warm, sticky day here. And here come the storm once again. That is number four, Nate, Zach Swisher. And he gets pushed down by number three, Cole Nickelbein. And Lloyd there, number 17, was chasing it, but couldn't quite catch up, and the Storm come away with it. And they send it out of bounds, so this will be an opportunity for Benil deep in the Storm zone. 6.13 to go here, first half. That's number 16 with it, Rory Mernon, new into the game. Senior defender forward, and there is Lloyd, and he loses it. And that ball sails well out of bounds. They won't be getting that for quite a while. Way over there in the softball field. And that means Luke Reich will kick a substitute ball here, and we're now under six minutes in the first half. And he boots it a long way. Headed there by Mahabadi, and Reich will get it right back. And he boots it down. Headed there nicely by number 16, Roy Mernon, and it, but it goes out of bounds. And number 25 for the Storm, James Reed throws it in quickly, and there's a whistle with some contact along the sideline. This game is kind of rough. 
There's the referee warning number 16 for Benild, Rory Mernin. Benild is not afraid to push their weight around, that is for sure. So what that means is another free kick for Mahabadi. So as they set up, clock continues and he kicks it down there, bends it, and it gets deflected. I don't know if Teddy Dayton got a piece of it, but it went off somebody, but it comes right back out for the storm to handle. And out of bounds it'll go, and I believe the storm will retain possession. They will, they'll get a throw in here. And they do it right away, and the ball bounds through, and Dayton comes out and sliding. Nice save there by him to corral that ball at the 4.15 mark. Two to one, Benil. They got the first two goals and then gave up one with a infraction in the penalty box, which led to a penalty kick by Mahabadi, and he put it in there. And so that's how we got to two to one here, and we're late in the first half. And here comes Eli Lloyd, 17. Gets it over to his teammate. That's Billy Panic, number 19 on the left side. He kicks it forward to Santi Lambert. Oh, he hits the crossbar. What a nice move by that young man as he goes from his right foot to his left foot and hits the crossbar. How frustrating is that? Watch Panic here. He does a nice job getting away from the defenders and then has the ability to look up and just to, just to catch that ball by Santi. Oh no, you know what? He didn't hit the crossbar. He hit the crossbar of the football goalposts. But from my angle, it looked like the crossbar of the net. Nevertheless, nice action there by uh, Lambert. Probably the most impressive play of the night, even though it didn't result in a goal. Just for him to catch that ball about three feet in the air with his foot and then get it over to his left foot in stride and to put a shot almost right on net. That was spectacular to see. All right, so here's a free kick now for Nickelbein. And the header attempted by number 20, Gabe Bauer. He's unable to get it, and so it goes out of bounds off his head, and the Storm will take possession with 2.40 to go here in the first half. He boots it down midfield. Trying to get it to number 16, Cameron Vesigi. And the Storm do retain possession. Number 18, Matt Reich kicks it down. And right to Teddy Dayton, the goalie for Benild, who will send it back the other way. 2-18 and counting here, first half. Boots it down. Storm kicks it right back down the field. Neither team really wants to give up a goal here late in the first half just to not give either other either side any type of momentum going into a halftime break. Two minutes to go, first half. Both teams look like they are suffering from the weather conditions, hot and humid here. Players seem to be a little slower than they were 40 minutes ago. Nickelbein will kick it off with 1.45 to go, first half. And that is number six, the dangerous... Lawrence Kurth for the storm, but he loses it. Nice job there by Benil. There's a forwarding attempt to Eli Lloyd, taken over by number 10, Danny Brown for the storm. And he kicks it back there, and there's Lawrence Kurth, and he's got has it now, and he gets pushed down there. Again, Benil likes to push these people around a little bit, and they are getting whistled for it every time. Not a criticism, just a reality. So here comes Abidadi again with another free kick. Mahabadi had the first goal for the Storm. We're now below one minute to go. And he kicks it towards the net and it gets headed there nicely by Nickelbein on defense four. And here come the Storm trying to get through the defense, unable to do so. They still retain possession. It's number seven, Sam Charles. Pushing his way around. Benilde is very, very physical. Now throwing in for six is number 16. That is Rory Mernon. And we're down to 24 seconds and counting. The referee can't, comes over to explain something to Mernon. And he has taken the ball away for Benilde. Another infraction against the Red Knights. And with 12 seconds to go, if the Storm want to get an opportunity, they better kick it soon. 
Mahabadi kicks it in there, headed by Nickelbein out of the zone, and Lambert kicks it down the field, and that should do it for the first half. Two to one, Red Knights come back for the second half. Introducing a breakthrough in time management technology. A whole new day of the week. It's called Someday. Ingenious. Perhaps someday you are going to go skydiving. Enter a hot dog eating contest. Maybe ride a mechanical bull. Now it's on the calendar. You may want to retire someday. Ready for that? You'll really want this. A My Social Security account at socialsecurity.gov. You can estimate your future benefits, plan for your retirement, and how to save for it. If you already receive benefits, you can manage them online. Millions of people already have a My Social Security account. In fact, someone opens one about every six seconds. Get yours today, because someday is here at socialsecurity.gov. Welcome back to Quinn Athletic Complex on the campus of Benilde St. Margaret's. I'm Robert Christensen, and this is Park TV 16 Sports on location, broadcasting the Benilde St. Margaret Red Knights hosting the Chanhazen Storm in this Varsity Metro West matchup. And we're just underway here in the second half. Benilde will be going from our right to our left. Obviously, Chanhazen will be going left to right. It's two to one. Medill got off to a fast start with a goal by Kalen Woog, followed by a second goal, and then they gave up a penalty kick to the Storm, who made it two to one, and he, that's how we got to where we are. So we're just underway here in the second half. So there's a whistle against the Storm on a push, and that is number 10 for the Red Knights, who had a great first half, Santi Lambert, the senior midfielder. Very talented kid. And another one is number 17 right there, Eli Lloyd. Both of those two for the Red Knights are dangerous, dangerous players. And here comes Lambert right now with the ball. Very quick feet. Great soccer instincts. And that's over to number six, Will Dreesen. Far corner, that is number 11, Sam Zimmerman for Benilde. And they did not have much offense after the first, I'd say 15 minutes of the first half, but they've come out offensive-minded here early in the second half. But here come the Storm, and there's a dangerous guy for the Storm, number six, Lawrence Kurth, the senior forward. And he is being badgered there by number 21, Norkoski, who did commit the penalty that led to the penalty kick and the goal for the Storm. And he does successfully get the ball away, and that is the captain, Nickelbein, three. Back over to number 11, Calvin, no, excuse me, that is Sam Zimmerman, and another whistle. And a now the first card of the game, I can't tell if that's yellow or red. And that was committed, let's see, I'm trying to see who that is. Number four for the Storm, Zach Swisher had, I think he's been ejected. That's a yellow card. He's over there, he's protesting the call on him. And he is sitting down. I'm not sure if a yellow card means you're out for the game. I know it's not, it's not the case in a pro soccer match. You'd have to get a red card. But he is sulking in the back of the storm bench and he is not a happy camper and he is out for the match and I'll do a count but I don't think they get to substitute so Benil may be playing with a one man advantage throughout the rest of the whole second half and they're up two to one and there is number 19 19 is Billy Panic, and he is having his way through the defense and the ball goes out of bounds and they award it to the Storm so early on here, let me do a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, so Benilde is going to have a man advantage here for the entire second half. 37 minutes to go. And that is going to be trouble for them. 
and should open up some more scoring opportunities for the Red Knights. So very unfortunate what happened. It was hard for me to see what led to the yellow card and the ejection, but that is exactly what occurred. So nevertheless, though, the Storm have an offensive possession here, and the ball attempted in there to number 12 is Gavin Ducklow, new into the match here. I don't recall him playing in the first half, but that ball sails off his foot, and that means number three, Cole Nickelbein, will kick off. Gets it to midfield. Maha Abi kicks it back for the Storm, and the Storm take possession. That is number 38, CJ Claggett. Gets it over to Maha Abi. Down to the left side. Here come the Storm. Centering pass is deflected by Nickelbein, and he kicks it back out to midfield. And that is picked up there by number 15, Jack Anderson for the Storm, being guarded closely by Eli Lloyd for the Red Knights. Now it's number 16, Cameron Vesigi. Number five kicks it towards the net, Carter Cruz, and the ball sails just over the crossbar. Close scoring opportunity there for the Storm. Here's the replay. Nice, oh, the header by Nickelbein. Can't quite get it. Then in comes number 12, who had an opportunity for the Storm, Gavin Ducklow, and just couldn't quite handle it. And the ball sails over the net. But we're gonna have a corner kick because it went off of Benilde, so that means Maha, Body will kick it. He handles all the free kicks and corner kicks for the Storm, at least so far. And he kicks it in. It's hooking towards the net. And Teddy Dayton comes out. The big kid for the Red Knights thwarts that corner kick offensive attempt and boots it down the field here. 35 minutes to go here, second half. And that is Eli Lloyd, number 17. Also very dangerous player for the Red Knights. Gets it down there to number six. That is Will Dreesen. And here comes Lambert, and he cannot quite handle it. And the ball sails over to the left side, out of bounds. And they award the ball to the Storm. And they quickly get it in. That's C.J. Claggett, 38, just a freshman. And the ball's taken away, and he takes it away from Lambert. Nice matchup, those two players together. Both very talented. And there is Cruz, tries to get it in to his teammate number 16, Cameron Vesigi, and Lambert intercepts that ball, and we have a whistle, and it'll come all the way back down. The Storm will get possession with a throw in, or a free kick, it looks like a free kick. Will be taken by number 16, that is Cameron Vesigi. And he gives it a nice whack. Down there, headed. And the Storm still at possession. That's Vesigi. Before the guy kicking it was number 18 was Matt Reich. My mistake. And there's his brother or maybe relative Luke Reich, the goaltender, number one. And that's Mahabadi with it, 17. Intercepted briefly by Sam Zimmerman for the Red Knights. And a collision there between Zimmerman and number 12, Gavin Ducklow. Both lowered their shoulders. And the ball, the result is the ball's with the Storm and not a great pass in, but it does get it to Maha Adi. And the Storm come away with it. That is Lawrence, number six, and he gets pushed down and no whistle, but picked up by number five, Carter Cruz. He puts in a kick towards the goal, gets by all the players, and another rough play there by number 12, Gavin Ducklow plows into the Benil defender, and is there gonna be a card here? No, that looked belligerent. Look at that. This game is getting rough. What does it say? You can? Oh. I was just told by a fan that the yellow card means you can come back in at the coach's discretion, but I'm gonna count the players there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So we have a substitution for the Storm. Two, 
All right, now I count 11 players on the, on the pitch here for the Storm, so they are equal strength. The yellow card is not an automatic ejection, it's the coach's discretion, so that's why the young man that got the yellow card left the match. But this game is getting really chippy by both sides. Another push on the sideline. You know, the Storm were getting pushed around in the first half, and I think they've made a conscious decision to come and push back because they are now being the rough, the team that's roughing up Benilde rather than the other way around like the first half. But here comes Benilde, that's number 21, James Narkoski. Over to number 11, Sam Zimmerman. Down on the right side, that's number 12, Matthew Kosurek. Into Eli Lloyd and a big kick there by Kalen Woog, but it's blocked in front and the ball just goes wide of the net. And here comes the referee and there's some words being exchanged down there. And this game is really, really getting chippy. So the result of all of that is a corner kick. The first one for Benilde, number 10, Santi Lambert, the very talented kid, will kick it. Benilde has not scored since early in the first half, but they do lead two to one. They haven't won since August 31st, so they would like to get a win here. At home, especially in this conference matchup. And there is a header by Nickel Bine, and he sails it over the crossbar. So possession will go to the Storm. So we have a substitution in for the Storm. Number 22 has entered the match. Don't have him on the program, however. So we have a little less than 31 minutes to go first half. And the Storm have possession. And Eli Lloyd takes it away from Carter Cruz. And the ball gets by number 15. That is Kalen Woog, who did get the first goal of the match tonight. But the Storm come away with it, and that is number 25, James Reed, on the far left side. That's 21, James Narkoski, the big kid, takes it off the face. Play goes on, and there's a pass attempted for Eli Lloyd, but he did not see that coming. So it goes by him pretty easily to Reich, the goaltender who punts it down the field. Storm need to get a goal here if they want to tie it up. That's Kasurik over there, number 12, plays it ahead. And there's a lead pass to Eli Lloyd and offsides whistle. That is a prime example of offsides right there. The offensive player can't run ahead of the defensive player until the ball gets by them to begin with. And so in that case, Lloyd got a little ahead of the defender before the ball arrived, and that's what is offsides is in soccer. There's a header attempt, and it actually worked out well there, at least initially. Will Dreesen almost got it over. Nice shot off to the left side by the Storm. There was the dangerous Lawrence Kurth. Very quick, strong legged kid. So now Nickelbein will kick it off. And boy, he gets his foot into that one all the way down the field over 50 yards. And the whistle. On the hand play, I think that accidentally hit the hand of the Red Knights. So the Storm take it back over, and there's a kick to the middle, and it's intercepted by Dreesen. There's Lambert, 10. He is a fun player to watch. Look at him dance around with that ball. And there is number 12, tries to chase it down. Matthew Kosurek, unable to get it, but they throw it in. Nice job there by number six, Dreesen. And we have a whistle. Storm player went down and it might be a change of possession to the Storm. So another infraction against the Red Knights. 
Things have seemed to settle down between the teams. They were very chippy early on in the second half. It was very physical in the first half. I think the Storm came out and tried to engage that, and both teams have seemed to settle down here just a little bit on the rough stuff. Nice save, steal there almost by the Storm. And nice job there by number 19, who just came into the match for the Storm. Steven Klein, the junior midfielder, number 19. Nice job getting that ball. Storm still retained possession. Kick intended in there for number 12, Gavin Ducklow. Kick towards the net intended for Claggett over his head as he jumps. And that'll go out of bounds toward for the Red Knights. Novkoski, number 21, but he gives it up to, there's Mahabadabi. Stolen back by Nickelbein, number three, kicks it out to the far side. Nice lead pass there for Eli Lloyd. Nice pass there for Lambert as he comes in. One player to beat, unable to beat him, and the Storm recover nicely and tackle the ball back away. And now they're coming down the right side. That is number 18, Matt Reich. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice defensive play there by 19, Billy Panic to steal it back away. And that's Panic with it now to Lloyd. Lloyd, oh, nice move there as he goes by the defense. Being marked closely, oh, back behind the back pass and he gets tripped and a whistle and that should be a free kick for the Red Knights. They haven't had too many scoring opportunities since early on. Watch the, oh, that's when he goes down. There's your infraction. So free kick, the Storm will set up a wall 10 yards back and they don't even wait for that and Nickelbein, they try to take him by surprise and he sails that ball way over the net. Not the shot he wanted to get. So wasted opportunity there for the Red Knights. Some substitutions now, two new players coming in for the Storm. Still very warm out here. There's Santi Lambert with the header to Eli Lloyd, trying to get it ahead to number 15, Kalen Woog. And there is some pushing going on there between Woog and number 24, Christian Lang. And now we have a yellow card going towards Woog. Let's see what happened here. This is, look, he takes him by the jersey and pushes him down. My goodness. Refs are not gonna tolerate that type of sportsmanship. So Kalen Woog's gonna come off at the at the coach's discretion. He did get the first night. There's the coach trying to explain Dave Platt to the referee, trying to defend his player, which is good. You gotta have his back. But clearly uh, that was a foul on Woog. There's the head coach pleading his case. Very rarely does a coach overturn a referee's mind in any sport at any level. But still not a bad strategy. You want to let the refs know that you're watching, that you're paying attention, that's for sure. So it can have some sort of intangible effect on calls down the, down the line here later in the game. But meanwhile, you know, we're at 25 minutes to go here in the second half. So the Storm are running out of time. Still plenty of time, but uh, half the half is almost gone. As the sun continues to set, you can see the shadow starting to creep across the field here. Girls match coming up at seven o'clock. Of a much cooler conditions than what the boys had early on. Ball goes out of bounds off of Thomas Forby for the Red Knights. So to throw the ball in, that is number five, Carter Cruz. Storm looking to tie it up here. Ball intended for 22 on the throw-in. Don't have him in the scorecard, unfortunately. Ball goes out of bounds. This time the Red Knights will take over possession. 
Cole Nickelbein will kick it off rather than Teddy Dayton, the goaltender. And we're at the 24 minute mark to go right now. 24 minutes to go, second half. It's number four for the Red Knights. Thomas Forby trying to get it out of his zone. Storm doing a good job trying to get it back. Billy Panic 19. There is Santi Lambert. Over to the far side to Will Dreesen. Kicks it forward there, intended for, I think that's Roman Brew. No, that's number 12, Matthew Kasurik, and he brings it deep into the storm zone and taken away nicely there on the tackle, Christian Lang. But it goes out of bounds, and this will go for the storm, so they'll take possession over. Another whistle. Is number 18, Matt Reich. He'll kick it off. Big boot down to midfield. And that is Santi Lambert, comes away with it. Gets it ahead to number five, Nick Figueroa. He tries to get it back to Lambert and the ball sails out of bounds and the Storm will take over possession. Players seem to be dragging just a little bit. Not only is it late in the game, it is a 82 degree night, even at 6.30 on September 12th. Humidity is very high, so hot night for both teams. And that is Eli Lloyd, 17. He doesn't seem to be impacted by the heat at all. And there is Santi Lambert. Both those guys have gone the whole way. Now it's ahead to number 19. That is panic. And Billy's attempt to get by the defender sails out of bounds, but Benil retain possession. Number four will throw it in, Thomas Forby. And that is number five, Figueroa. And he gets it, and Mahabi and Santi, and that is Santi with it, Lambert. Over to the right side. And big kick attempt there by Sam Zimmerman is blocked nicely by the storm. Number 25, James Reed. Nice job on the defense there. But the Benilde Red Knights keep possession. Santi Lambert with it. So dangerous. Gets it over to Will Dreesen who puts a shot right on net, but not a lot on that. And Reich had no trouble with the save. So we're just now at the 21 minute mark here. Here's that attempt. Couldn't get quite a bit on. Didn't have a lot of time either. And Reich, the goaltender, Luke Reich, was right in the right spot. Handled it easily. So here come the storm. Still retaining possession over to the right side. And that is number six, the dangerous Lawrence Kurth. Ball comes over to the far side, being chased, and a little bit of a push, nothing too serious. Ball goes out of bounds. And they're gonna award it to the Storm, maybe on that slight little push there by number 11, Sam Zimmerman. That is number 10, who will throw it in, Danny Brown. He's gonna take a running start and try to get as much length on the throw in as he can. Here he comes. Couple steps and a hop and overhead. Gets it all the way to midfield. That is a heck of a throw and clears out by Lambert and almost got by the storm there. Eli Lloyd was ready there to pounce for the Red Knights. But the storm come away with it. And the ball goes out of bounds for the storm. Under the 20 minute mark here to go in the match, second half. Substitution for the Storm, number 12 now in, Gavin Ducklow. Junior midfielder for the Storm. Clock continues to run, Storm throw it in. Dreesen there on the defense along with number 11, Sam Zimmerman takes a big whack at it, deflected in front and number four for the Storm, Zach Swisher is 
Hurt on the far sideline. You can see him writhing there on the ground. Let's see if we can see what happened. He had the ball, and did he catch it right on the chin there? Kind of hard to tell, but just based on him grabbing it, looked like it was inadvertent. He looks like he's going to be okay. Oh, here come the storm now. Lead pass. And nice job there by Nickerbine. He really sacrificed himself. That's the senior captain experience for you. What an effort by him to thwart that scoring opportunity for the Storm. It's plays like that that win matches. Nice job by number three there, Nickelbine. And Benil will retain possession. 21, James Nurkowski with it. He is a force on defense, big kid. Especially for a soccer player, gets it down to the right side. That's Sam Zimmerman, number 11, goes out of bounds. He'll throw it in. Trying to get it to Santi Lambert. Does successfully. Ball now intended there for number five, Nick Figueroa. Lambert to Platter. Billy Platter, he's got some quick feet of his own as he... Splits the defense, gets it over, and a nice left-handed shot there by Nick Figueroa with the left foot. He had a lot of pace on it. What a pass. And he gets it there on his left foot, and he gets that shot off as he takes a hit from the Storm defender. That is great action. Great camera work there. And now we do have a hurt player on the defense. Whoever threw himself in there, that is number five. Just gets there and he trips and down he goes. That is Carter Cruz. What a defensive play. Talk about sacrificing your body for the team. He definitely did that. Looks like he may have hit his noggin. He's holding the back of his neck or his head, it looks like. I didn't notice his legs getting hurt much, so that must have been it. His head must have hit the ground there, and they're going to take him off. Concussion protocol probably in play here. They don't mess around with those things anymore. Into the game for the storm. So in for Cruz. Jack Parker. Will be number 14, Jack Parker, senior defender. So a corner kick results for the Red Knights. Santi Lambert kicks it in, headed out. Swisher tries to clear the zone. Figueroa still has it. Back out to Norkoski. Dreesen intercepted nicely there by Jack Anderson for the storm as he gets a pass off quickly, trying to get it to Swisher. And number 21, James Narkoski, is there to stop the threat. He is a big guy to get around, but they're trying again. This is Swisher, number four, and a nice shot and save by Teddy Dayton. Big round of applause at the 1640 mark of the second half. That was the Storm's best opportunity of the second half. There's Swisher coming in with the nice left foot and right in the perfect position is Teddy Dayton with a big save for the Red Knights. Meanwhile, Dreesen has it over to Lambert at midfield. Kicks it down the right side intended for Zimmerman and it does get by him and out of bounds and the Storm will take possession. 16-15 to, to go here, second half. Nice tight match here, just two to one, Benilde. They need to get off to Schneid. They've lost a couple of them in a row, both shutouts. So they would like to get a win here at home tonight against their conference rival, the Chanhazen Storm. There's Narkoski, gets it over nicely to his teammate, Thomas Forby, up to Platter. Now Dreesen kicks it ahead down to Zimmerman on the right side in the corner, and he just steps out of bounds, or the ball does go out of bounds fully if it's on the line it's still in it's got to cross the whole line for it to be out of bounds and the storm get it in and that's Mahalabi. haven't called his name much in the second half called it all day long in the first half 
but he's still out there. He might be showing signs of fatigue. I don't think he's had much of a rest except for halftime. But he's by far their strongest player along with Lawrence Kurth for the Storm. And so that's Luke Reich will punt it down the field. 15 minutes to go here, second half. And that is Swisher, number four, looking for another scoring opportunity, being marked well there by number 12, Matthew Kasurik. Ball in, attended for Kurth. Can't quite get it, and Benil tries to clear it out, and there is a push and a whistle, and that is against Mahabadi. So that's a free kick for the Red Knights, and that will be Mr. Nickelbein, the senior defender, will kick it again. He's looking a little tired, too. Didn't kick it quite as far as he usually does on that one. That might have been by design, but all the players look a little bit tired on this 80-plus degree high humidity night. I think the dew point is right around 70. So you can imagine it's very, very warm and sticky out there. Nickelbein this time hits it over to Narkoski. So Benil might be going into a little bit of a game delay posture here. They're up two to one. They are more tired, at least the way they've started out these last two attacks. But here comes Narkoski. He brings it into the offensive zone and he tries to get it ahead there to Figueroa. He's being marked closely there by number 15, Jack Anderson. Figueroa still has possession though, and it's taken away and there's some pushing going on, no whistle between him and Ducklow, number 12, and he heads it over to the middle, but it's intercepted by Lambert, and he takes a shot at, ooh, just sails barely over the crossbar. Luke Reich was there to make the save. Watch this action, bang. Knuckle ball, whew. You could see the knuckle on that, on that ball, boy. That was her huff to handle. Luke was there with his one hand. What, great action, great camera work there. 13 minutes to go. Some more substitutions leading the field is Jack Parker, number 14, I believe, at the far side. Christopher Welsher, number 13, reports in for the Red Knights. So the clock is stopped at 13.04 for these substitutions. And there's 38, C.J. Claggett. Freshman attacker, he played a lot of the first half. Now coming in here, probably not a bad move. He's had a rest here and that's what the Storm need. They need some rested players that maybe can take advantage of the fatigue that's setting in for the Red Knights. But there is Santi Lambert. Look at that action. If we can get a replay of that little dupe de doo that that kid did, that was amazing. Just really showcases the talent of his, that he has there for soccer, wow. And the ball goes out of bounds, so they award it to the Red Knights. There's the throw in quickly there. Lambert, 10, gets it by that kid again. He is a highlight reel all by himself. Santi Lambert, what a joy to watch, but he gives up the ball and that is Swisher. He tries to lead it to CJ Claggett, who just came in, so he's gonna have a lot of energy and he's a young kid, just a, just a freshman. Oh, nice job there by the Storms. Number 19, Stephen Klein, as he just ticks it ahead to his teammate, but it's taken away, and that's Billy Platter, 19, in the middle of the field, and he finds some daylight on the right side as he goes by the defender, Jack Anderson, and number 12 comes up smartly to intercept it, Gavin Ducklow to thwart the threat. Still, though, a throw in for Benil. That's Dreesen, number six with it. Kicks it down, intended for Figueroa. There's Welsher, 13. He's also new in the match. There's Eli Lloyd. I don't think he's left the field all match. And a nice tackle of the ball there by the Storm. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's awarded to Benild. That's Welsher, number 13. He'll throw it in. Timeout. 
Clock stopped at 11-12 of the second half. And we have another substitution. Number 10 now into the match, Danny Brown. Ball in play, Welsher with it, kicks it towards, oh, goes out of bounds across the goal line. And what is the call? I think we're gonna have a corner kick here. Just the second one, Santi Lambert will position the ball on the far right, top of your screen. There he is. Senior midfielder will try to get an insurance goal here for the Red Knights. And Dreesen takes a shot and he fans on it just a little bit. His head sunk there. He knew he missed it. Ball goes wide left out of bounds. So the Storm will take over. More substitutions now. Michael Henry, there he is, number 20, coming in. He's for number 12, Gavin Ducklow. The sun continues to set. The shadows are almost covering the entire field. Lambert goes down and there's a whistle and he will be awarded the ball. 10 minutes to go here in the match. Lambert will give way to Nickelbein who kicks it down and it's headed away by number 18 for the storm, Matt Reich. And here come the Storm, lead pass there for Swisher, chased also by number 12, Kasurik, and it goes out of bounds. Nice job by Kasurik on defense for the Red Knights. Swisher will throw it in, he gets it into CJ Claggett. He's got some space, and Santi Lambert was kind of taking his time. Look at the move, and that's a nice bag move by CJ Claggett to take it back. Those two players are both very talented with quick, quick feet. Storm kick it ahead there. Well sure to Lambert. Gets it ahead to Dreesen, who's able to maintain it. And he's got Platter on the left. He gets it to him and he, oh, he does get it by the defender who falls down. Platter, nice job. He tries to kick it and block nicely there by number five, Carter Cruz for the Storm. And they now have possession and they kick it down the field. Swisher trying to chase it. Also, is Kurth, and here comes Kurth. And that is Swisher, and he takes a shot and he sails it over the net with the left foot, out of bounds. 8.36 to go here, second half. Watch this replay, number six, Lawrence Kurth goes down, but there's Swisher, but really being guarded well there by Matthew Kasurik. He's done a nice job on defense all match long, always been in position. Just enough to thwart a really good threat for the Storm. So here is Nickelbein. He'll kick it off down the left side. Intercepted briefly there nicely by Stephen Klein, number 19 for the Storm. There's Platter, heads it down the field to Figueroa. And that's number five. And he gets pushed off the ball there by number 10, Brown. And here's Brown with it in midfield. And he kicks it ahead. There's Swisher, number four, chasing it, and he comes away with it. Trying to get by Welsher, and he does. And he puts it on net, and it goes out of bounds, and we're gonna have a corner kick for the Storm, I believe, if I saw that correctly. And yes, a corner kick, and there comes number 17, Jake Mahabadi will do the honor. So a scoring opportunity here for the Storm, trying to tie it up here as we approach the seven minute mark, remaining in the second half. And here comes the kick in, and right to Dayton, who is really, from my vantage point, quite a bit taller than all the other players that were around him. Really, no one can make a play other than Dayton, and he did so nicely there and gets it out to midfield. And now that the sun is really setting, you can feel the temperature starting to drop. Should be a nice night here for the second match, the girls' storm. Oh, nice save there by Luke Reich. And he gets it down quickly with the throw, and he does. That's to number 10, Danny Brown, and he kicks it ahead there to Kurth. Kurth is battling Narcazi, and he slides and gets right back up, comes around, takes a shot, and he scores! My goodness, that was an unbelievable play. Kurth 
actually slipped, but then like going down a ski slope, he popped right back up and he took it, went behind the back and just took the nice kick and faked Dayton out. It was leaning towards his right. That was beautiful to tie it up for the storm. At the 631 mark, it's tied two to two. So we go to the kickoff center field. Benil now needs to get a goal here to get a win. Look at that play, watch this. Behind the back, left foot, had the goalie leaning the wrong way and scored that nicely. You'll never see a better goal than that. That was beautiful. Great match here tonight, actually. Good plays on both sides, but Benil really hasn't had too many scoring threats since early on in the first half. But now they're gonna have to crank up the offense here if they wanna get the win at least in regulation. So there's Billy Platter, number 19, trying to get it ahead to Figura. Eli Lloyd. Lloyd with it, number 17, trying to get it ahead to Lambert, and Wright comes out, he can't get it, and oh my goodness! Figura just sailed it over the crossbar. Lambert can't believe it. He's on his knees looking at the sky. They had a beautiful opportunity there. He had it right there and he just kicked it over the crossbar. And whoever came in late there, that man on his knee, that guy right there, number 18, saved the day, Matt Reich. Wow, did he save? If that's his brother, his brother owes him big time because he was way out of position, Luke was, and he has a tendency to do that. At least we saw that early on. It cost him the first goal and it almost cost him the third goal there. Whew. If you're a Storm fan, that was really close. Matt Reich, number 18, really saved the day there. Just got in the way enough for Figueroa's ball to sail just over the crossbar. So we have 4.48 to go here. In the far corner, Eli Lloyd there. Ball comes out and it goes in favor of the Red Knights. It'll be a throw in, not a corner kick. Now coming in is Kalen Woog. He had left early in the first second half on a yellow card. Player, coach's decision brings him back, but he'll be fresh. He's been sitting all, almost the whole second half. Comes in for Figueroa, who had a nice second half and almost got the go-ahead goal there just a moment ago. Ball sails to the left side, and that is Swisher four with it, and he gets it ahead. <laughs> and it goes out of bounds. Storm take it, picks it back up, and here comes Kurth, number six, one on two, and the goaltender, and Nus Norkoski steps in front and Towards that, no call on the play. And now we got a call. Referee is gonna reach for a card here. That's a yellow card. And that's on Narkoski. And he is gonna go to the bench. That might be his second yellow card. Yeah, he hit some pretty good there with the knee in the back kidney shot. So the valuable James Narkoski is going to take a seat. And that could be the difference here. He is great on defense for the Red Knights. So we're at 340 to go, tie game, and a free kick now here for the Storm. And the kick sails wide right. Number 10 there, Danny Brown. Not happy with that effort. That may have also been a result of how tired some of these guys must be. Going for an hour and a half in these weather conditions. Boy, that kick by Nickelbein did not work out well. The Storm now turned it into a scoring opportunity. And there's Danny Brown with it again, and he takes a shot. Nice save there. Block in front by the Benil defense. And there's Danny Brown with it almost again. Looking for Swisher on the far left side. Platter tries to play it, and the Storm come away with it. Number five, 
Carter Cruz chasing in the right corner. Nicely blocked there by Benilde's number four. That is Thomas Forby. And he gets it ahead to Eli Lloyd. And over there is Kalen Woog. And he has fresh legs, fresh lungs. Tries to get it by the defender, number 16, Cameron Vegasi. And he comes away with it. And now Platter does. Loose ball at midfield. And that's Dreesen. And a big collision. Should be a no call there. Not sure what that was all about. But it's going to be a free kick for Benilde. And Nickelbein will take the honors. Gets Tries to get it to Eli Lloyd. Can't handle it. And it goes right into Luke Reich's hands, the goaltender for the Storm. So with two minutes to go, he punts it down the field. Two minutes to go in the second half. Tied up here, two to two. Ball gets pushed ahead. That's Cruz. Six, and he tries to nudge it ahead, and it goes out of bounds. Just past Teddy Dayton. Kurth there, number six. Almost had another great scoring opportunity. And here comes Kurth again. He has the ball, gets it over to his teammate. It takes a shot, or centering pass intended for Swisher. Blocked in front nicely. And another whistle. Offsides is the call, so Benilde will take over possession. And there is Will Nickelbein, and we have a minute 10 to go in the half. And he kicks it down on the left side. Ducklow Gavin tries to handle it for the storm. There he is, Ducklow kicks it down the field. Less than a minute to go. Here comes Curse. Out comes Teddy Dayton. Some pushing between he and Nickelbein and another whistle. Boy, these referees have had their work cut out for him. Clock continues to run, 43 seconds. And there is Santi Lambert. He's gonna try to do this on his own. He takes the shot and he scores! Unbelievable! At the 32 second mark, Santi Lambert, the talented kid number 10 right there. Gets the go-ahead goal with just 32 seconds to go. Watch this play. You knew he was going to shoot it. And look at the knuckleball. And he just, oh, wow. Look at that diving attempt. And look at Platter with his arms up. What a match by that man right there, Santi Lambert. Good grief. What a play. Look at this. Kicks it right, down goes the defender. Boy, that helped, and then he saw the opportunity and he sent it by inside the left goal post to take a 3-2 lead. 26 seconds to go here. Lambert with it. He'll try again, 18 seconds to go. Three on two, tries to get it ahead to Billy Platter. Takes a shot and it goes wide. Did it go off the goaltender? That should do it, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, Four, and there's the kickoff, but that'll be your ball game. Benilde wins it at the last 32 seconds of the match on Santi Lambert's goal. Three to two win in this huge Metro West rivalry. And that'll do it. Benilde wins three to two.